All right, welcome back to the second example for compound curves. In this uh, part, we're going to figure out where, um, where the station for PI1, or the point of intersection for curve 1, is located. And if we look at this, um, you know, this general diagram for compound curves, uh, we need to figure out what PI1 is, okay? And in the problem, we're given the station... We're given the station for for uh, the point of common curvature, and that's at 24 plus 49.080, okay? So that's the station for the point of common curvature. That's the station of this point, okay? What that tells us is that the point of common curvature, the station for the point of common curvature is also the station for the end of curve 1 and the beginning of curve 2 okay so that's where uh, the first curve ends and where the second curve starts okay so we can say that the station the station point of common curvature is equal to EC1 okay and we need to use this information to figure out what PI is, PI1 is. And remember, if you're given EC, you can't just subtract T to get PI1, okay? You have to take EC, subtract from it the length of the curve to come to BC1, and then from BC1, add T to get to PI1, okay? So let's do that. First, we have EC1. EC1 is equal to the station for the point of common curvature, and remember that was 24 plus uh, 49.080. From that, we need to subtract uh, the length of the curve, okay? And the length of the curve um, is, uh, for curve 1, we actually figured out up here is, is 800 feet, okay? And this is BC1, okay? So we just subtracted L from EC1 to get BC1, okay? And so BC1 should be 1649.080. Uh, and to figure out where point of intersection 1 is, we need to take BC1 and we need to add the tangent distance. The tangent distance is this distance right here. We don't know that yet but we can figure it out. Tangent 1 is equal to R1 tan delta 1 over 2. Remember this is a formula we we uh, derived a little while back. We know what radius 1 is. Um, radius 1 is given in the problem 716.197, right? And then tangent of delta 1, which was that nice 64 degrees, uh, divided by Plug this in, uh, T1 becomes 447.5530, okay? And so we, we take this number and we plug it into here to get, I don't know if you guys can see that, sorry. We plug this number into here. Uh, BC1 was 1649.08 uh, plus 447.530. So the station PI1 is equal to 2096.0 um, or in station form that's 20 plus 96.61. Okay, so that is the station for point of intersection uh, for one and remember on the diagram that's this point okay so we took the station for the point of common curvature which is also the station for the EC of curve one we subtracted L added T to get PI1 okay uh, the last two things we need to solve for are the middle ordinate for curve two and the external distance for curve one so let's do a middle ordinate for curve 2 first. Let me draw a line here. Remember the middle ordinate uh, formula is radius minus m over radius is equal to cosine uh, delta over 
2, okay? And radius 1, or I'm sorry, radius 2 is 1145.916 minus m over 1145.916, and that's equal to cosine of the interior angle 2, which was, uh, what was it? It was 78, 25, 43. And that, that we actually solved in the last video, right? So we just plug all this in, solve for m. m should be, or the middle ordinate for uh, curve 2, after plugging this in, should be 258.076, uh, okay? So that's how you figure out what the middle ordinate for curve 2 is. Now, the external distance for curve 1, um, remember our formula for that was t, or the tangent distance, um, over radius plus the external distance, e, is equal to sine of delta 1 over 2, okay? We figured out what t1 was, it was here. 447.530 over uh, radius 1, and radius 1 was 716.197. Uh, remember that was given in the problem, plus E is equal to, is equal to uh, sine uh, delta 1. Delta 1 was, what was delta 1? Where did delta 1 go? Delta 1, where are you? Delta 1 was 64 over 2, right? And we saw that in, in the previous video. Uh, so you plug all this in, and if you solve for E, you should get 128.328. Uh, okay, so that's the external distance for curve 2. We figured out the middle ordinate for curve... Or I'm sorry, this is... This is external distance for curve 1, middle ordinate for curve 2, um, and we figured out a bunch of other things. Um, so really, remember, compound curves, uh, they're just two horizontal curves put together. All right?